When you allow yourself to lose your zeal, your passion, your motivation, you're literally kissing your purpose goodbye. Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome back to Beloved Always. Oh, I'll stop smiling. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 2017 is going to be a year of greatness. I can feel it, I can sense it. It's just going to be amazing. And one of the mindsets I'm coming into 2017 with is zeal, with passion, with fire in my belly. So this video is just to really encourage you and empower you to come into 2017 with zeal, with passion as well. If you are new to this channel, do press the red button and subscribe. And also remember to turn on the notifications so that you will know exactly when I upload a new video. So firstly, what is Zeal, okay, I'm gonna read out to you the definition I got online because it actually got me excited. Zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. The synonyms for zeal is fire, devotion, love, appetite, diligence, and eagerness. There's one topic that I think I've seen a trend in when I talk to most Christians who have been saved for maybe a couple of years, three years, four years, maybe even longer. And they all talk about uh, how when they first got saved, how they wanted to you know, win the whole world for Christ and how they were so like fired up and how they had passion, they had desire, they had dreams, they had ambition. And this is the same for me as well. Like I literally thought, you know, I was gonna save the whole world. Like, and that's how zealous and how passionate we were. But as time went on, we allow that zeal to gradually fade away. We allow that fire to gradually start burning out and start dying. It's almost as if we allow the beauty of the gospel to fade right in front of our eyes. It's a shame, but I just want to encourage you that this year, this 2017, let's call it now, that we're going to remain zealous. This year, we will not lose our zeal. That we will not lose that passion that we had when we first received the gospel. And yes, there will be some low points, but every single journey has its rough roads. Every single journey has its valleys. Every single journey has its hills. But just like a flame in the wind, you need to protect your zeal to keep your zeal, or else it's going to be extinguished two challenges that I want to set you this year and these challenges I'm also setting myself like so we're gonna be you know doing this together because this zeal this boldness this passion I really need it in different areas of my life and as much as this video is for you guys honestly it's for me too like this is something that I need a dose of. So the first challenge is to allow the joy of your salvation to be renewed every single morning. Could you imagine what it would look like if we woke up each day and we lived each day as if Christ just died for us, like just, just that. This is something I've committed to do since the start of this year and the way I've even been looking out into the world has changed. The way I see myself has changed by remembering daily the sacrifice that Christ paid for me to have life. Though Jesus Christ died on the cross 2,000 years ago, the impact, the meaning behind that death has not diminished one single bit. Though time changes, God stays the same. Though time moves on, God is timeless. Each morning when you wake up, allow yourself to be impacted by the fact that Jesus Christ died to save your soul. Like he chose you, God chose you. There's millions of people in this world who have not come to the knowledge of Christ, yet you are one of them at this moment in time. Don't allow that to become um, trivial in your life. Make it something worth celebrating and something to find joy in every single day. That's the first challenge really. Let's be intentional about being joyful in the Lord and growing in that joy just as we grow in the fear and in the knowledge of God this year. The second challenge that I have for you this year is to pursue your God-given desires and goals fervently. Those dreams and visions that you've had for a very long time can be brought to fruition if you stay aglow, if you keep burning, if you remain passionate and zealous about those dreams and goals. When doubt arises, like it will, because doubt will come and it seems as though like uh, you can't accomplish this thing anymore or it's too late or you know, you've just missed your, your boat basically. It's in those times when we've got to... We actually got to remember and learn to be like David who encouraged himself in the Lord. Like this is something I learned in 2016. It's, I need to know how to encourage myself even when no one else is encouraging. To not allow my progress to depend upon how many cheerleaders or how many fans I have. Will I keep on going if no one else is behind me except for God? Like if it's just me and God on this journey, am I ready to walk it out? And learning how to encourage yourself even when you're in your lowest of lows to pick yourself up dust yourself off and keep on going is what will take you to that next step be your biggest fan this year don't knock yourself don't push yourself down be zealous in yourself and be passionate about what you want to do the topic of fervent yeah 
do everything as though you're doing it for God. Like, remember who you truly serve. I think this says this somewhere in Colossians. I can't really remember what the verse is, but I'll put it on the screen. Do everything as though you are working onto the Lord. Like, work at everything as though God is your master in it. And remember, he is your master because who sits at the throne of your life is Christ, right? And why is it so important to do this? Because when doors open up, there's gonna be many adversaries. Like, you can't expect to get to where you desire to be without having opposition. What does the enemy do? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. First, he wants to steal the joy of your salvation. Like, once he robs you of that joy that you have in the Lord, mate, trust me, once you lose your joy, once you lose, not happiness, which is circumstance dependent, but the joy that you have within, knowing that you have a greater hope, knowing that your future lies in the hands of your creator. Once he can get that joy of your salvation from you, hmm, basically you're in trouble like, he wants to kill your zeal like he wants to kill your desire to serve the lord and to bring people to christ once he can stop you from being on fire and being passionate about christ and being passionate about your desires he can stop you from increasing the kingdom we're not meant to be selfish about our salvation we're meant to be sharing our jesus with every single person so don't allow him to take away your zeal your desire your passion thirdly he wants to destroy every single dream and ambition and purpose that the lord has placed in your heart if he can take away your dreams if he can take away your visions if he can take away your purpose he's taking your destiny and the thing is the enemy does not have the power to kill still and destroy unless we allow him unless Unless we give him that power over us, he's powerless against us. God has given us a fresh start. Not every single person made it to 2017. God is going to do a new thing this year in your life. God is going to do something great through each and every one of us if we allow him. So let's be fired up and just, you know, yeah. My take home message is to be strong, be zealous, keep being passionate, continue serving the Lord, remembering that your labor is not in vain, that everything you do, the Lord sees, everything you do privately, he will reward publicly. So just keep on pushing, keep on driving. <sighs> I'm happy I've got that off my chest now and this is something I'm gonna keep watching back. Like, this is gonna be my quarterly review video. Like, Yinks, are you being zealous? Are you being passionate? Are you being strong? Are you being fire are you burning or are you just like doing this in a way like a flame thank you for all of my subscribers for everything like i really appreciate you guys honestly because it's in those moments where i'm at my lowest that someone will just comment on my video or someone will send me a message and just say oh what you said really blessed me and that just lifts my spirit so i just want to say for like from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and thank you for um following me on my journey i have a lot of things planned for this year a lot of exciting things that i'm praying and hoping to achieve and i just pray you continue to be blessed and um yeah i love you guys i actually do i've not said it i just do love you guys i love each and every one of you people from scandinavia people from poland people from the united states people from nigeria people from singapore people from italy people from everywhere like you guys um it's like a family online isn't it so i just want to appreciate you guys and just say thank you so much and yeah